My name is Maddie. I'm a 22 year old competitive climber from Canada and currently I'm gonna bring you through the fundamental upper body exercises you should be doing for rock climbing. As climbers, we have a philosophy that is you wanna be stronger without being heavier. And that means you don't wanna be putting on muscle mass. In order to achieve that, you wanna be doing all of your upper body and lower body exercises in a strength building phase, not a muscle or hypertrophy phase. That means you're not exceeding six reps for each exercise. You're trying to hit between the range of three and six. You're taking five minutes between each set and you're doing about three sets. With a rep range as low as three to six in the strength building phase, it's important that you add weight so that you fall within that three to six reps. If it's too easy, you're not gonna quite be getting that strength building effect. Even though as climbers, we are only looking to be as strong as possible while minimizing the weight we have to carry up the wall, there is a time and place for muscle building and growth. And that's a topic for a whole other video, but today we're just gonna focus on that strength building phase. I'm about to show you five fundamental exercises you can add to your climbing routine. They're all listed in the order you should be doing them in. You wanna start with larger, more important muscle groups first, and you also wanna get the more complex exercises done first as well, while you're still a bit more fresh in your workout. You also wanna be mindful of when you're training the same muscle group with different exercises, you wanna put another muscle group exercise in between those to give that muscle group a break. So without further ado, let's jump right into our first exercise, which is pull-ups. I cannot emphasize enough how important pull-ups are. So again, keeping in that three to six rep range, you're basically gonna do three to six pull-ups. If you're just starting out and you can't quite do a pull-up, I'd recommend doing band-assisted pull-ups. So this is where you're gonna wrap a resistance band over the top of a bar, you're gonna stick your knee or your foot into the band, and you're gonna do your three to six pull-ups. If it's feeling a little easy, try to pick a lighter band. If it's feeling a little hard and you can't quite get three pull-ups, then you wanna increase the resistance of your band. If bodyweight pull-ups is the perfect difficulty for you and you can only manage to get between three and six reps, then absolutely do bodyweight. If you're someone that can add some weight to your pull-up, I recommend using a harness or weight belt and attaching the weight as close to your hips as possible. That'll minimize momentum and keep the weight close to your center of gravity. For me, I find that not a lot of gyms have weight belts consistently, so I bring my harness to the gym every time I'm working out. I also bring my pass, my personal anchor system, uh, which is often used for outdoor climbing. And I find it's a really good tool to attach weight to yourself because you can put your carabiner through any of the loops in order to get it as close to your hips as possible. From there, of course, you're gonna try to go as low as possible without fully deactivating your shoulders. This will minimize any shoulder injuries you could get from really maxing out weight on your pull-ups. And then you're gonna pull all the way up until your chin is above the bar. This next exercise is very important to balance out your strong lats by having a strong chest. We're gonna do either push-ups or bench press, whichever one is more accessible to you. Personally, I don't really like push-ups, so I tend to go for the bench press as often as possible, but sometimes climbing gyms don't have a full weight system, so you aren't actually able to do bench presses effectively. So if you're doing push-ups, you're just gonna be doing military push-ups, uh, which are tricep focused. You're gonna lower yourself like a plank and you're gonna touch your nose to the ground, and then you're gonna push all the way up and you're gonna do your three to six reps of that. If you need to add weight, it's not the easiest with push-ups. Uh, oftentimes you'll need a partner to put some weight on your back or on your lower back, or you need to put a weight vest on. And if you put a weight vest on, you gotta keep it really tight because it will hang down and hit the ground if it's not tight enough. But if you happen to have a bench and some dumbbells, I would recommend doing bench press. Now I like to do my bench press with dumbbells. If you're using two arms to do an exercise, it often hides an imbalance in one of your arms and also doesn't train stability quite as well. So I like to separate my hands and do one dumbbell in each hand. With bench press, you're gonna lay on your bench with your dumbbells. You're going to have your feet wide apart. You're gonna arch your back a little and you are going to push your dumbbells up. When you're lowering them, you don't wanna bring your elbows down too much because that can put a little bit of strain on your shoulders. You wanna go just down to 90 degrees and then all the way up. Oftentimes, I like to touch my dumbbells at the top so I know that they're both at the same distance. Next, we're going back to our lats and we're gonna do rows. With rows, I like to do one dumbbell at a time, one side at a time. So depending on what side you're gonna start on, you're going to put one hand and one knee on the mat or bench, and then you're gonna plant your opposite leg straight and you're gonna go pick up the dumbbell. From there, you're gonna make sure that your back is completely flat 
If you're just starting rows, you might wanna have a mirror or film yourself or get someone to check to make sure that your back is completely flat. You're gonna look down so that your spine is completely straight. And then you're going to pull your dumbbell up and diagonally towards your hip. So you're not pulling it straight up, you're pulling it backwards. And that's gonna engage the lat a lot better. When you get to the top, you're gonna hold it for a second and then you're gonna bring it back down. Next, we're going back to a pushing exercise and we're gonna do overhead press. With overhead press, you can do this seated or standing. I'm electing to do it standing. You're gonna have your feet far apart to create a strong base. And then just like bench press, you're gonna make sure your arms don't go too much further down than 90 degrees. And you're going to, again, push your dumbbells up until they're straight. And again, I do like to touch them at the top. While you're doing this too, you wanna make sure that your core is engaged so that you're not getting any lower back strain. Just like doing an exercise like deadlift or squats, you wanna make sure that you're protecting your lower back by engaging your core. And this is why this is one of those more complicated exercises because you do have to worry about that while you're doing it. And then last but not least is dips. Dips, of course, if we're doing any mantles on the wall, you're gonna wanna have some strong triceps. For dips, I prefer to use a dip bar. In a pinch, you can use a bench. With dips, we're also gonna follow that 90 degree rule. When you're dipping down, you don't wanna go too much further than that because it'll start to roll your shoulders forward and again, put strain on them. We really wanna protect your shoulders. So when you're dipping, you're gonna go down to 90 degrees and then all the way back up. Depending on how much weight you're putting on, if you are adding weight to your dip, you might wanna get a partner to help put weight on you before you do your dips. Now, I'm doing my dips in the most difficult way possible when it comes to bench dips, but an easier way to do it is to not have your feet elevated, but keep them down on the ground. So that is it. Those are the fundamental exercises I would recommend for upper body strength for climbing. If you're just beginning, I would recommend this exact protocol, three to six reps, five minutes between each set, three sets for each exercise. Okay.